What's good, people? It's that fantasy guy with another video, and we going over deep waiver wire ads again. You know the video that comes post waiver wire Tuesday, um, because there's always something left out there on the waiver wire we can pick. And let's go over our picks from last week. Well, my picks from last week, and let's see how I did. I told you to get Debo Samuels, and Debo Samuels in those smashing twenty. Point four points, and as you see, this man is now being added in all leagues just yesterday, just last night. Now he's being added when you could have been ahead of the curve. I told you to get Miko Hardman, and he ended up getting 16.1 points and even had a touchdown call back. So imagine the goodies and the big point production it would have been if he would have got that. He probably would have finished number one over Demarcus Robinson. Jesus. I told you to get Noah Fan. Now you didn't have to play him. And he is still available. People are still not picking him up right now. But his first week, he scored four. His second week, he scored 7.3 against the Chicago defense. So, Noah Fan is going to smash. And you might want to jump. Jump aboard before it's too late. Go ahead, put him on your roster. Put him, save, have a bench spot waiting for him. Unless you're just super deep at receivers. I know there's a lot of people that got Kelsey and Mark Andrews. And you just don't need a third tight end. You know, that, that might be you, but... I don't know, but I'm just trying to put you on players before they're smashed and before they become hot waiver wire ads. I told you to get Paris Campbell and Campbell just, Campbell haven't broke out yet. I, I am still steadfast that Campbell has the potential to be a league winner this year. He just it just might take longer since um, you got you don't have luck there. So we'll see. This week he scored eight point two off of one target. I mean, if this man gets sprinkled with a few targets, I told you this is a guy that can take it to the house. Uber athletic. You give him the ball, you give him space, and he's gone. Just that simple. And that's all it took. One touchdown. I mean, so, hey, if you have a roster spot, nobody's on Paris Campbell right now. So let's go over this week's list. The first I have on my list is the Carolina kicker. I don't know if this guy's the next Greg Leg or not, but two weeks in a row. This dude getting points. He is starting. I see him added. I saw him added in a couple of my leagues. Not many. He's still on the waiver wire in a lot of leagues. Joey Sly is S L Y E. I really don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. You know, if if you know how to pronounce his name, let me know. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but you better get it. You better get him. Eleven points the first week. Sixteen points the second week. Hey, unless you have Greg the leg as your kicker, you need to get him. I've, I've dropped on um, Bucker, you know, who who is the kicker for Kansas City for him in a lot of leagues because this man, he getting points, and I need that, you know. That is a position, you know, I hope leagues, fantasy leagues get rid of, but since they're there, it's always good to scavenge the waiver wire for uh, a player that can get you a few extra points. The next player is JJ Arcega, white side. Now, JJ is a rookie, but he's one beast of a rookie. And with the injuries of Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey, if they don't play next game, you see how, you see how Algalor was was sprinkled with a, a number of targets and he, he ended up scoring over 20, 20 fantasy points. That can be J.J. Whiteside 
Orsego Whiteside next week. And he is a red red zone threat. He is a good receiver. Believe me, he is going to be great in this, this league years to come. But he's young right now. But he has a chance to go in there, get some playing down, play playing time, and produce. And, hey, you might as well see if you can capitalize on it. But I'm going to tell you this. If you see Aguilar on a waiver wire, pick him up. He's the first person to pick up um, if those two miss the game. He's the first person to pick up because if Deshaun Jackson and Jeffrey miss next week's game, he is going to be sprinkled with a lot of targets again, and he's going to smash that week. This guy will only be a, a, a weak ad. He would only be added to go to your team for one week, maybe two, but more so just next week. It's the only week I'll trust them. If you was a person that was hit with injuries, hit with injuries at the quarterback position, for some reason, I have no idea that some of these leagues I am, Josh Allen is still on the waiver wire, and I don't have a roster spot for him. I can't get all these players, you know, in my leagues. I don't have a roster spot for him because I already have two quarterbacks on my team. Like a lot of teams, most of my team, I have Lamar Jackson, and then I'll have a player like um, most of my team, I have Kyler Murray as my backup player. Um, and I'm like, I don't have room for Josh Allen. I mean, I. <sighs> I guess I could pick him up and, and you know, and, and re replace him for Kyler Murray, but I feel Kyler Murray only just getting started. That mean, you know, that mean he has some great games to come. But for some reason, hey, if you see Josh Allen out there, I'll pick him up with the ASAP. But for you guys that, you know, that people have – went through your waiver wire and, and, and tried to pick it dry, and you need a quarterback, either pick up Randolph or miss you. Um, so Randolph with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers or miss you with the Jags. Miss you have played a couple of games so far and proven that, you know, he's okay. He's okay. So if you need 18 points, he's the person to play. And Randolph knows this. Offense very well, so he should come in and smash. I'm hearing rumors that he was a better quarterback than um, Ben Roth, Big Ben. I'm not sure of that, but all you can do is pick up if you need a, a quarterback. Pick up both of them if you need one. Next up, we have the Tampa Bay defense. Yeah, I know. Now, <laughs> first, I would have told you to pick up Dallas defense. Um, but their rosters in most leagues. Then <laughs> I would tell you to pick up the Chargers for next week when they play Miami because Dallas playing Miami this week and they play Miami next week. Pick them up for next week. <laughs> but you have to roster two defenses um, because they're playing Houston this week. Um, but Tampa Bay, I've been hearing rave reviews about Tampa Bay improving defense, and they get to play against a rookie quarterback in his first game, Daniel Jones. So, hey, you know how good defenses feast on rookie quarterbacks. Why not? And last but not least, and I see him picked up in some leagues, but if you see Frank Gore out there, Frank Gore has been producing enough to start in your flex. So, if you need... If you need someone to start in your flex, you need a running back that's going to easily get you 10 points, go pick up Frank Gore. You know, I know you hate to add his old behind on your team. But if you go look at his numbers, you'll be like, hmm, I can use 15 points in my flex. Why not? And that's the end of this video, guys. Look here. Make sure you smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm out, fellas. Enjoy your week. I wish y'all luck to get another victory. <laughs> I'm out.